Jones after Joey Jones had fumbled it twice. Well, I think that was a good decision. The confidence that Jones had lost after fumbling twice was too risky to let him try to catch another one, even though he'd had good success all season long. Alabama sets up now on the Auburn side of the field. Exactly where they put it. Big question here. Can the Auburn defense rise to the occasion and force the punt? At the 49 of Auburn. First down, Alabama. Lewis at quarterback. That's Lenny Patrick. Can't hold him. Look out. What a tough, tough, determined run by Lenny Patrick. He just don't see any better individual effort than Lenny Patrick, number 25, make on this play. It's the sweet play, which gives him a chance to use his ability. Two good blockers out in front of him. More number 26. It's going to knock Gormley down, Gormley down right there. And you can see Patrick is not giving up, keeping his feet going, cutting back against the grain. Comes close to score. Just a sensational run. Got 32 yards on the carry. Into the middle goes Pagan. And he moves from about the 17 of Auburn to near the 15, where Dan Dickerson makes the stop on him. Lenny Patrick has not had a very good year. As a matter of fact, uh, the Bears don't know a lot of growling at him. He's been in the doghouse. Yes, been, he has. Uh, mixed because of some disciplinary problems during the year, but he's coming back, and that was his best run of the season for him, I'm sure. No question. Second down, eight. Patrick again. Touchdown. goes in their touchdown to build the lead up to 10 points. I want to say this about Lenny Patrick. He's had his problems this year. But here, ladies and gentlemen, in the flash of just seconds, you may very well have seen a moment of character making for a young man. And he's just the sophomore. He was a leading ball carrier last year as a freshman for Alabama. Had the freshman record for Alabama. Patrick got 47 of the 49 yards on the touchdown drive. Jim's kick is good. And it is now Alabama 28, 